Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and in this video we are going to create parallax effect with the help of Jetpack Compose. So this is our application and when you scroll up, you will see the parallax effect and we built this effect with the help of Jetpack, Jetpack Compose. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do, you have to add this King Kohli image in your drawable resource and in the strings, you have to string title and description. You can uh, create whatever type of image you want and also you can create your own strings okay so it's totally up to you now jump into our main activity and here i will continue on the composable so the first composable is parallax and within this parallax the first thing i am going to create a box and within this box i have one column now this column is vertically scrollable so with the help of modifier we make this column scrollable so modifier fill max size vertically scroll this is scroll required a scroll state so need to create this scroll state now pass this scroll state into this okay now this column is scrollable within this column i am going to create a box modifier fill max width and the height of this thing is 500 and this content alignment is center. Now within this box, I'm going to use a image. Using the painter resource, I'm going to initialize this R dot drawable King Kohli and the content description I'm going to pass null. After this, we have a modifier and with the help of modifier, I will cover all of its parent size. After this, we have a content scale. So I want the content scale crop. Alright, so this is complete our King Kohli image. Now below to this, I am going to create that title. So for this, we use text composable. And within this, I am using string resource r dot string dot title. After this, I am using modifier to provide some padding. So the padding would be 8dp. After this, uh, I also need to pass the style. So I'm using material, theme, typography, H6. So this is our title text. Now just copy this text, paste in here and convert this into description. Now H6 is converted with body one and the padding is now horizontally 8 dp and vertically 4 dp. Alright, so this will complete the basic structure of our application. So what I am going to do, I am simply run this thing. Alright, so this is our basic structure. Okay, there is no parallax effect right now. So now it's time to build the parallax effect. So for this, uh, go to your box and within this box in the modifier, I am going to use graphic layer. So graphic layer is basically used to re-render the only affected areas. It will not trigger the whole composable to recompose again. So this is a benefit of using graphic layer. So within this, I'm going to use translation Y and just reduce the speed of the translation. So I just want the half of our speed. So 0.5 F into scroll state value. Okay, so now this thing will reduce the translation of image to the y axis and one more thing during the scroll scroll behavior we also need to fade the image like this when you scroll it will scroll a little bit slow and also it will fade okay so the fading thing will achieve with the help of alpha so 1f minus scroll state value to float divide this thing with scroll state max value okay so this will create the alpha behavior which we want for this fading okay all right so i'm going to run this application and you will see the behavior of this graphic layer okay so when you scroll you will see it will scroll uh, half of the speed of this thing and also it will fade okay so this is our desired behavior now one more thing we need to create this header too so now we are going to create the header 
so for that header i am going to create within our parent box so within this parent box i am going to create one more box modifier fill max width and provide height 55 dp and the content alignment is center start within this box i am going to create a text king is back and uh, provide style to it material theme typography h6 apart from this i am using modifier in order to provide padding so i am going to provide the horizontal padding of 12 dp all right so this is our header and we also want the fading behavior with this header too so for that reason also i am going to use graphic layer and within this graphic layer we have alpha and this time i use min function and first i pass 1 and the second thing we need to pass the scroll state value and scroll state max value so we need to pass the second parameter is the ratio of current scroll state value to the maximum scroll state value okay now if i run this thing you will see the header which will follow the same behavior in our previous like our previous application so when i scroll you can see king is back okay but there is no background color so that is why it will uh, it will show the thing which is present in the behind of this header so what we are going to do we simply introduce a background color to this box so color purple say 100 and the text color i am going to provide it white so color run this application and now you will see the desired behavior run this and you can see this is the perfect behavior which we which we had seen in our in the starting of our application okay so by using this approach you can build this parallax effect i hope you like this video if you like this video please like this video share the video and also subscribe to my channel all right